Here's how to use a LightPad block to control effects in Ableton Live 10. The LightPad block is a great controller for drums and melodic instruments, but it can also be used as a versatile, multi-dimensional controller for effects. Using Blocks Dashboard, you can load different apps onto your LightPad, which give you access to faders, XYZ pads, buttons, and much more. In Live, we have created three tracks. Track 1 is a kick drum. Track 2 is a bass with Live's echo effect. And Track 3 is a synth with Live's pedal effect. Let's change the LightPad into a fader block, and an XYZ pad to control these two effects. First, connect your block to the computer and open Rolly Dashboard. To load the Fader Block app onto your light pad, select your block from the visualizer and click on Fader Block. The light pad now displays four MIDI faders. We can even use the mode button on the left side of the light pad to switch between four different fader banks giving us access to a total of 16 mappable faders. To change the settings of the app, click on Edit. For each fader, you can specify its MIDI CC number, its LED color, and its range. It's a good idea to make sure that each CC number is unique to avoid clashing MIDI data. Now we're ready to go back to Ableton Live. To assign the faders to control parameters in Echo, Use MIDI Map Mode. When MIDI Map Mode is enabled, you first click on any parameter on screen and then send a MIDI CC message by sliding a fader, turning a knob, pressing a button, etc. In this case, we are assigning the left right delay division to fader 1, noise plus wobble amount to fader 2, feedback to fader 3 and Reverb to Fader 4. Now let's turn off MIDI Map Mode and try it out. Now that we know how to set up and MIDI map a fader block, let's try out a different app. First, let's go back to Rolly Dashboard. This time, choose XYZ Pad. This will turn your block into an expressive XYZ Pad controller, which sends MIDI CC messages based on horizontal, vertical, and pressure movements. Click on Edit to enter the settings for the XYZ Pad. Currently, the X, Y, and Z axes are sending data with MIDI CC numbers 113, 114, and 115. We need to MIDI map each axis independently. So let's start by setting Send to X. Your light pad is now only sending CC data from the X axis. Back in Live, enter MIDI map mode and map the parameters that you want the X axis to control. For this example, let's map the x-axis to dry wet in the pedal effect. Now go back to dashboard and change it to send y. Let's map the y-axis to gain and treble. Finally, for the z-axis, let's map it to control pedal type bar and bass amount. When you have finished MIDI mapping the X, Y, and Z axes, turn off MIDI map mode in Live, and then go back to Blocks Dashboard and set your light pad to Send All. Let's try it out.
In this video, we only scratch the surface of what's possible. Have fun exploring your own ways of controlling effects with the LightPad block in Ableton Live 10.